call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Flood here and I bring you episode 7 of Road to Inform and we finished the last episode off with 226,000 coins, I've spent pretty much all of it, I've only got 9k left over and the first deal which I picked up was the Steam Gerrard centre mid version in the 4312 formation, put him for 12,000 coins and the lowest buy now for him is 15,000 coins so I'm going to set mine up at 14,500 coins. I was uh, getting these deals at around about 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to list the rest of these plays up for 6 hours, I accidentally list that Gerard up for an hour but uh, the next play which I bought was Lel who is this informable Levante and uh, I bought him for 31,250 coins and I'm going to sell him for 35,000 coins which isn't a great deal of profit but it's still going to be around about 2-3k to 3K on him which is you know it's decent and it's a good bit of profit. Uh, the next player is this left back for Ultra CF in the league Adelante bought him for just under 14,000 coins and I'm going to sell him on for 18,000 coins uh, Cessignon in a 4-4-2 got him on a 10,000 by now and uh, the next cheapest on the market is 12,000 coins so I'm going to match that at 12,000 coins and uh, this is a Gomez in CM, he's originally a striker, I was just searching randomly for a buy and centre mid and I saw Gomez going on an open bid of 7,500 so uh, bidded, didn't get out bidded and then I'm going to list him up for 12,000 coins and uh, where most of my coins went was on this inform now and again, bought him for 69,000 coins uh, which is quite a lot of coins but uh, when you see what the next lowest buy now on the market is it's 85,000 coins so uh, I listed mine up for 82,000 coins and if he sells that's going to be uh, over 10 10k profit which is very good at this uh, stage in trading and uh, again like I did in the last episode I have placed my watch list just so I can list them up faster uh, by quick auctioning them so I don't have to scroll across uh, on the console with the controller. Uh, bought this Gerard in a 442 for 13,250 going to list them up for 15,500 uh, another Gerard I bought in the centre mid in the 4-3-2-1 formation this time bought him 12,000 coins for an open bid and I'm going to list him up for 14,500 so uh, again I'm doing the centre mid method which I've explained in the past two videos uh, I try and pick him up in 4-3-3s or 4-4-2s uh, just mainly popular formations this one I got in a 4-1-2-1-2 Ronaldinho for 8,000 coins I uh, list him up for 11,000 coins just because that's how much he goes for because he's a Brazilian player and he's a 5 star skiller uh, this one in the 4-3-3 formation on an open bid of 9,800 coins I'm going to list them up for 11,750 coins just because 4 through 3 is so popular with Brazilian teams and uh, we're going to be back on to Steven Gerrard bought him in the 5-2-1-2 formation for 10,250 coins so this is the cheapest Gerrard which I've got this uh, for this episode in, in a pretty bad formation in terms of selling so that's why I got him so cheap and I list them up for 13,500 coins in the end and the final Gerrard which I bought was in the 4-4-2 formation for 12,250 coins and I list them up for 14,750 coins and then we're going to move on to the final player now which is Sessignon, this is a really good deal on him actually I bought the one before in the 442 for 10,000 coins and I got this one on an open bid of 8,000 coins in the end I do list him up for 10,500 coins and he should sell for that because Jeep's on on the market is 11,000 coins so come back everything has sold and the total profit for this episode just doing the one set of trading is 34,000 coins so you know it's a pretty decent uh, bit of trading for just one set of trading uh, Gerard sold for 15,500 Sessignon for 12,000 coins uh, the second Sessignon sold for 10,500 coins Gomez sold for 12,000 coins and um, most of the players sold in the first six hours which I listed them up for there was only three players which didn't sell and that was the uh, Gerard Sessignon and the informed German right back those were the three which didn't sell but in the end they did sell I only had to list them up two more times uh, I think uh, for one hour but yeah thank you all for watching and I will be sure to get another episode of this out tomorrow thank you for watching and I will see you guys later